Um, this guy, he is the crucible. And he explains why he's not good company for women. And I'm just going to play this uh, at time and a half because he talks very, very slow. And he, he's one of those people who talks slow, not because he's thinking about what he says to avoid sounding like a retard. He's one of those people that talks slow because he likes to put a false emphasis in, into the profundity of what he has to say. Um, so I'll let him talk. And then I kind of want to show, show some, uh, explain some things about him. I'm going to be honest with you. Most women, this just, just my experience, they never have interest, anything interesting to say and so I don't actually care about what they say. And so I feel like they're just talking and I'm just kind of nodding my head. Like this. And I just kind of want the exchange to be over so I can get on in life and do other things that I consider more meaningful, like watching paint dry on the wall. You know, or like shoveling the driveway. Or literally anything other than that. Okay. So, oh, because no, of that... Sorry, that was a very deep and profound pause so to give you the time that you needed to really let that sink in. Let that sink in. If you're cold, he's cold. Let that sink in. Uh, I know it's really hard to digest the, the kind of complex philosophical things that he has to say, but he gave you the time to really at least, at least chew on it. I'm not particularly good company for women because sometimes they'll be talking to me and I'll literally just get up and walk out of the room. Because I just don't care what they're saying. I don't give a shit what they're saying. I don't care what they're saying. It doesn't make any sense. I'm just like, okay, what? And they're, sometimes they'll be talking to me. I don't even know what they're talking about. I'm just like, what the fuck are you even talking? Just get up and leave. I don't, I just don't prefer, <laughs> I don't prefer the company for the most part. So I'm not pleasant company generally for women. I don't dislike women. Plenty of women who I think are great. Um, but for the most part, they're not very enjoyable to be around. And they just kind of talk at you. And they don't say anything. So I don't care. Like I've, I've said this before. I wonder if he thinks he makes that makes him look cool. Like, yeah, I um I enter into relationships with vacuous people, and I don't care what they have to say. So I just literally walk out of the middle of the room like I have fucking autism or something. <laughs> like, like I'm like I'm severely mentally disabled. I leave people wondering if it's something that if I if I was offended and ran away from them uh, because of the offense, or if I'm just like retarded and and lost train of thought or demented or something. Uh, no, actually, I'm just a dickhead. I wonder why uh, he has the issues that he does. Apparently, he has a thread. I saw this incidentally, and I thought, oh, this guy's a dickhead. So I looked it up. Uh, he actually is Big Papa Fascist, Andrew Wilson. Um, and I have some notes. I went through this thread, and I, I have some notes put together about Big Papa Fascist. Um he was married to Rachel, or is married to Rachel Wilson. They're both trad LARPers on Twitter with podcast. Rachel has five kids from three different men and has been divorced twice. Andrew left his ex-wife for Rachel because they had an affair and Rachel got pregnant. Andrew made her do a paternity test because he wasn't sure the kid was his. Rachel tried to get her oldest daughter to marry a groiper, but the relationship didn't work out, and the groiper threatened to release her nudes. Uh, or did release them, but they're not in the thread. So I don't know what happened with that, but uh, that's the benefits that he's bringing to this family and this relationship. The affair isn't true. What do you mean it's not true? He was married, and then he knocked up another woman. How was that not an affair? Um... Andrew and, and Rachel uh, were on the kill stream, which is how they got a thread, by the way. Uh, big shout out to Ethan Ralph. <laughs> and uh, Rachel was accused of sending feet pics to Beardson Beardley. Uh, but they were, but Beardson came out, right? Beardson, the little goblin, came out and said, uh, Yeah, your wife, uh, she's sending me feet pics, bro. And then uh, Andrew has to come out, big papa fascist, trad man, woman disrespecter. Comes out and says, no, Beardson child, uh, that is not a feet pic intended for you. That was a public feet pic posted to Instagram that you merely pretend was a private message. So she's not just sending feet pics to Beardson. Uh, she's sending feet pics to the entire world to entice people to follow her Instagram account. So um, Beardson barely was completely and totally back the fuck off, okay, with, with that epic comeback. Did that guy respond? to my question I'm looking at rumble now where is he 
The affair wasn't true. He's a raging alcoholic. She had one marriage before. And the dude left. The feet pics thing was fake too. This guy. Tell me, raging alcoholic, you have the mic. It was a pic of a pool and her feet were in it. Are the feet pics in this thread? Let me hide this. I don't know if there's going to be like nudes of her daughter or whatever the fuck. Okay, I'm looking for the feet pics. They're already in here. Tell me, my dude, why do you listen to him? Just let me know. I'm scanning through to try and find the, the feet pics. No, they're not archived in this. Did he say anything? Has he explained why he likes this guy? No, he is not. <laughs> I'm not listen, Pat posting when I'm I'll read this later for the, the super chat, but the the Pat posting thing is just something that embeds into your deep psychology and you can't stop. Once you start going, no, stalker child, you, you can never stop. You can never stop responding to people that way. That's that's the issue with Pat, is that he uh, started Pat posting himself as patient zero, the Pat posting menace. And he just has no, it's like eating away at the rest of his brain. And he no longer has any, the faculties to respond to anything else any other way. Okay, I don't see the, the feet pick. That is funny. That's a funny troll from Beardson, though. I mean, he tried to suck up to the groin. He literally tried to marry off his his new wife's daughter to the Groiper movement. And the Groiper movement responded by leaking her nudes and lying about his wife uh, and, and her feet pics. Do you think that, because I assume if you're into this guy, you're probably into the whole Groiper shit. Don't you assume that to be like an indictment on the thing as a whole? Or do you just excuse that as being the, the few bad apples? Maybe it's his fault in particular for for not for not being um, on Fuentes' Fuentes' nice list. I need to know. After this, I'll move on. But I did find these these uh, gripers are gay losers generally. Okay, I assume that nobody who is like a griper can listen to my podcast. I guess this guy likes Big Papa Fascist, even though that's the most fucking cringe-inducing name ever. Selling his stepdaughter to a homo cult wasn't the brightest idea. I guess if it worked out. There seems to be a common thread. Candace Owens offering her kids to whoever the fuck. Um, those, uh, I can't remember who it was, but the, the, the fucking pick me bitch who tried to sell her daughter to Zerka, the pedophile, who's also an American first guy, a brown guy in America first. It's just a... Very common thing. I don't, it, it really is crazy that these guys, this is what I mean. These guys have children either because they want to sure up the white, white birth rate. And then they're so retarded and so irresponsible. The first thing they try to do with those kids is use them for clout and marry them off to Nick Fuentes or fucking pedophiles and uh, associate with them or Andrew Tate or whatever the fuck. Does he know anything about fascism? Really? I think he's just a gay fan. Are you talking about me? I mean, I guess it just sounds nice as a as a name, but it is what it is. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.